Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. I'm thinking of doing a party makeup look, something that's quite dramatic but very very simple at the same time so it's easy to recreate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump into it. Starting off with prepping my skin, I'm going to be taking the Biore Triple Action Toner. I'm just going to be putting this on a little cotton pad to get all the oils off my skin and all of that gross stuff. I'm going on a cruise in like six days and I'm going to Vanuatu. I'm so excited. I can't even comprehend how I'm feeling right now. Woo! To moisturize my skin, I'm taking the Benefit Total Moisturizer Facial Cream. And this tub is so big. I'm just going to be putting like a little piece. Oh, that's not a pea size. A little pea size on my face. I'm just going to rub all of that in as you do. And then I'll just be popping on a little bit of eye cream. I'm just taking the Benefit It's Potent. I have a weird obsession with Benefit skincare products at the moment. I don't know why, it's just really nourishing my skin. And I have a really dry skin at the moment because it's winter in Australia. So this is doing the trick so well. For foundation today, I'm taking the L'Oreal Lumi Magique in the shade Gold Linen, just on a damp beauty blender. I have like the smallest amount of foundation left in here. So hopefully I can tap it out. I'm probably going to get like a bruise on the back of my hand from doing this. Ooh. I'm just going to start patting this into the skin. I haven't used this beauty blender in so long. I've been using the um, Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush for my foundation. Um, so I did kind of miss my beautiful beauty blender. I actually lost it for like a month and I was dying without it because I love this. And then I found it under my bed. <laughs> That's kind of gross, but I washed it. The one thing that I hate about all of my foundations is that they always sit in them little laugh lines right there. So when I laugh and then I stop, oh it's so bad, I have these lines, it's just so annoying. So if any of you guys know of foundations that don't like sit in your fine lines, then please let me know because it's just so <laughs> tragic. So because the foundation is a bit yellow and a bit too dark for my face, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of... Um, powder that's like in a really dark shade and I'm just going to be blending this down my neck just so it all matches nicely. For concealer I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Sable Sand and I'm just going to be popping this under my eyes to highlight and also just to cancel out that purpley colour under there. I was thinking about doing some first impressions on some foundation so if you guys want me to do that just leave a comment down below of what foundation you want me to review or first impression review kind of thing because I think that would be fun it's something different and I love trying out new foundations as well so that would be fabulous to set under my eyes I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just on a little setting brush from Real Techniques and as you can see I have had this for so long like three years or something like that it's just lasted me forever and now to set everything else in place, I'm taking my Hello Flawless by Benefit. I use this all the time. It's so crazy. I think I need to start getting some new makeup products just to switch things up in my videos because I feel like it's starting to get a little repetitive because I just have so many makeup items that I'm like completely in love with and I can't leave them. So for bronzer and contouring, I'm going to be taking the Studio MAC Care Blend Powder and this is in the shade Dark. I'm just going to be trying this out as a contour. It's just like a, a powder, but it's in a dark shade. So, let's see. I'm just taking the same product on a bigger brush just to bronze up my cheeks a bit. I don't know. I just like having that bronzy effect. And especially when you're going out clubbing or to a party or something, it's always fine to apply a bit more than usual. <laughs> well, I think so anyway. And for blush, I'm taking the L'Oreal Blush in the shade Nude Brown. And I haven't used this one in ages. I forget what it looks like. Very nice. Just a very neutral blush. I'm just going to be popping this above of where I put that bronzer. So just right on the cheekbones, on the apples of the cheeks, and blending it back to the temples. And for highlighter, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This lasts so long on my skin, so I think this is the best um, highlighter for a party because it will last all night long. I love highlighter because when you get photos, it flashes back and you have this gorgeous sheen on the side of your face. I just think highlighter is like one of the best makeup items. 
I'll also be putting that on my Cupid's bow as well. And now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm taking the Benefit Browsings palette. I'm going to start by taking the wax and I'm just going to be popping this on my eyebrows. I feel like when I put the wax on, my eyebrows just look 10 times better. So to fill them in, I'm using the Sigma E65 little angled brush. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of powder on my brush and then tapping it off and working from the tail of my brow. And now I'll just be setting my eyebrows in place with the Benefit Gimme Brow. As you can see, my eyebrows are so, 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 so dark at the moment. But when I have like fake eyelashes on and stuff, it all kind of blends in together. Okay, so time for eyeshadow. I'm taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just going to be popping this all over my eyelids just so I have a nice base for my eyeshadow to sit on. And for the eyeshadow, I'm taking the Mineral Hygienics eyeshadow in the shade Pink Sand. This is so stunning. It has like gold reflexes and then it has pink reflexes all mixed together. I'm just going to be popping this all over my eyelids. This color is absolutely stunning. Oh my god, where has this been my whole life? Seriously. And for a transition shade, I'm taking the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Soft Brown. I'm just going to be popping this in my crease so all the colors blend out nicely. To make blending really easy, all you have to do is tilt your head back a little bit and then find your little socket line that, where that crease is. So you just put your brush in there and then move it from side to side. And it just makes the eyeshadow look 10 times better if you have a really smooth transition shade. To deepen up my crease a bit, I'm taking the Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette and I'll just be using this dark matte brown shade on a little fluffy pencil brush. I'm just going to be working this into my crease. And now to blend away those harsh lines right there, I'm taking the Soft Brown Eyeshadow again and a E25 by Sigma. This is just a smaller brush than the other one that I used before, so this is easy to blend in little areas like this. To deepen up the crease even more, I'm taking a black shade from that same Coastal Scents palette and I'm just going to be popping that on top of the black. I meant on top of the brown. Sorry. And now I'm just going back and blending all of them colours in the crease, just with that soft brown shade again. It does look so crazy at the moment. I do not suit smoky eyes at all, but I need to do a smoky eye on my channel, let's be real. Um, for the bottom lash line, I'm taking that same gold shade, and I'm just going to be popping that from the inner corner to the middle of my lower lash line. And then I'll be taking that dark brown again, just from the outer edge of my lower lash line into the middle. And then I'll be popping a little bit of the black right on the outer edge of the lower lash line. And for mascara, I'm taking the Benefit There Real, and I'm just going to be popping this on my lashes to separate them. And then I'll be popping some falsies on as well. So for my falsies, I'm using the Esquito Lashes in Voila Lash. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm using the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. And I'll be taking the shade Heaven right here. It is actually a matte white. I don't want to use a shimmery white shade for my brow bone highlight today because I have so much shimmer going on on my eyelid. So I'll just pop this under my eyebrow. And moving on to the lips, I'm going to give you guys two different lip options, so a nudie pink and then a really bright red. So I'll start with the nude, and I'm going to start by lining my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Night Moth. <laughs> that looks so crazy. And for the lipstick, I'm taking Japanese Maple by MAC. This is just a really nice nude shade. 
to top that off, I'm taking the NYX Extreme Lip Cream. I'm just going to be popping this all over my lips to add a bit more pink to it. So I'm taking the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Red Hot just to outline my lips again. For the lipstick, I'm taking the Chi Chi La Diva in the shade Red Carpet Red. This is just a gorgeous true red and I've used so much of it, it's crazy. Oh. And to top that off, I'm taking the Lime Crime Lip Gloss in the shade Cherry on Top. It is just a gorgeous red shade with a lot of shimmers throughout it. I haven't used a lip gloss that has shimmers in it, so this is going to be interesting. This is what the red lip looks like. I like how it turned out, although I would personally go for the pinky nude look if I was to go out to a party or anything like that. Only because red lipstick is really high maintenance, you have to keep applying it to make sure it's, you know, looking its best and sometimes it gets on my teeth. Well, I'm not going to lie, it always gets on my teeth. So yeah, that is all for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it means so much to me. I'm just checking if I have lipstick on my teeth. No, I don't. I'm all clear. But anyways, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!